Hi, welcome back to another Archicad speed modeling quick coffee tip. Let's show you how to do this, creating some different ceiling designs, a uh, very quick way to show your client four or five different designs. Okay, so I've got a setup here. I'll show you in 3D at the moment. It's just a normal little office, ceiling in it, obviously. Oops, get in there. And there's some walls here. What I did, I started off with this polygon line, which is exactly as you can see the red, it fits exactly inside the ceiling. That's quite important. I made a spline and I drew a wall at a height. Doesn't really matter at the moment. I just put three meters in. Okay, even the, you know, this doesn't matter. You will see in a moment. The main thing is you draw the wall. All right, uh, by the way, the wall is 400 thick. I then I just duplicated along here and that's where we're at. So the next bit is now, I like to create this first ceiling stamp. So I go to my fill, you just use whatever fill you want. This is purely to, to create this ceiling stamp. So I use 50%, I have a blue, a blue color and what I do is with my magic wand tool, I just click in here and as you can see, and we'll just fill out the gaps in between. Okay. Now what is good with this, obviously you can see it cuts it straight away along my, it cuts it straight away, oops, there's two in there, it cuts it straight away along my spline. That's why I drew those um, walls. It's The walls are pretty much just a guidance for me, so I can use my magic wand tool. Slowing down a bit, okay, there you go. So cool, so I got this. Next bit is we select all this and we deselect the walls. All right, best bit to do this, you hold down shift and you go all the way just like this. Beautiful, it doesn't matter um, um, that the spine is select, but let's just deselect the spline. And I need the frame important. So I got the frame and I've got my fill. So we copy this and we create our profile. And we do this here with plus and we call it a ceiling stamp one. Okay, now I'm into the profile and I just paste this in. Current view. And we go from there. That's important now. So you've got to pick the corner because I want to have an insert point to our origin here. Zoom in. Got to make sure I've got this right. Yeah, no, that's all good. Click outside. Okay, so this is our, our origin of the profile. Next bit is just select the fill and make sure, as always, you've got to override what type of surface you want so I just put it in as ceiling 2 then all you have to do is we save this but make sure you also save this as a column so you click column and we say it's all done so let's get back to our 2d drawing what I do is now I'll take this column you know usually in here and you can go to your um, custom column and we use this ceiling stamp one. You can add here, make you know the ceiling again. You should actually ceiling material. And as you can see down there, I put this on cutting elements. So now, before I click this in, I'm going to my next story. Let's move this over here. I'm going up because that's where I got my ceiling. So I can now click this exactly on the corner. Actually, gotta be very careful here. Um, show trace reference. Yeah, I saw so. So you have to because I did the stamp not outside. I made it inside the wall. So I click here, and as you can see, the stamp is in there now. So select this stamp, and we select the ceiling, going into 3D. All right. So that's what we got at the moment. So we now go and move those up. So let's go here and we move this up there. So it's exactly 
a ceiling height. So now it's up to you how much you want to well, let's stamp it or cut it out. My ceiling here, I do have at 600. For this purpose of the tutorial, I just do a 300 cutout. So I click click this and I elevate this by 300. There you go. So next bit, obviously you are now, I think people that watch me, you know it's coming, solid element operation. So we take the target element, which is our ceiling, and we got the operator element. Okay, just normal subtra subtraction, but I like for this purpose, I like to say inherit from operator. So we'll take the ceiling to material. So click this, execute. Okay, so let's have a look. If I now just select this, click F5, you can see what happened. All right, great. So let's go down back to our ground floor i want to go and have a look in 3d and now what i, I set up some uh, layer combination you see i can say 3d tutorial that's what i'm doing at the moment a 3d view this will turn off my cutting element and work all will turn all the layers on so obviously i go to 3d view and as you can see this is now our cut out ceiling very simple very fast now stay tuned because i show you another couple and you can then show you and um, client a couple of designs in no time so next bit let's get back here i turn on this layer because i prepared some more here uh, work all all right there you go let's just close this a bit so i got some more ceilings here very simple ones and um, this one again i just draw some arcs I space clicked on the arc with my wall. Same here, just, you know, did some random crossing walls. This more has a pattern, and this is sort of a wave ceiling. Now, those three, I did the same with using the fill, as you can see. But the last one, it's a bit different. I'll show you how to do this one. All right, so actually, you know, I get rid of this window. Okay, this one's different. I could always use again, you know, and add the wavy fill. But in this case, I like to use the wall fills. So what you do is you can select all the walls. Okay. Make sure I've had them grouped here. Yeah, so they're all selected now. Now you have to suspend groups and we go and reshape them. Explode into current view. You don't need the originals, you can if you want to. I don't need it for this tutorial. All right, cool. So this, what happens now? There should be fills in there. So if I select all the fills, okay, see all those wall fills now, obviously they convert into 2D fills. Excellent. So suspend the group still. Next bit is you cut now all those fills up because you only really want to want to um, use anything within this ceiling polyline I have here. All right, very quick, do this one too. Delete and let's just select them all again. I think there's one sticking out there. See, there you go. And we do it this way. Okay, now as you can see, it's all done. So take a frame around because I want only those fills and not all the ones over here and we also select again the polyline a copy and we go to our profile and as you can see i did a couple here so let's go to number four and this time you don't add one you duplicate it duplicate and we put a five in here great edit and this one you can just delete and we paste the new one in here excellent go up there and again with the fills select all the fills make sure you got the ceiling to material in there save all right now comes the cool bit because we can go back to our 3d now let's move this a bit over here it looks a bit better come on all right this will be getting exciting now almost i have to get rid of the marquee too i'm sure it's out there somewhere all right, so into 3D. 
and again we got the 3d view great now watch this so what we do is now it's very simple you got the client round and say hey look you know you got a couple of options i'd like to show you for some feedback so you take back to the tutorial and what you do is you select this one and up here all you have to do is change the ceiling stamp watch this come on that's pretty cool all right so let's do the other ones too tutorial again you select your it's your cutting element obviously and because it's just it keeps the cut it doesn't matter what you do is you know you change this but it's still connected to the ceiling so i have got to number three here another design for your client there you go you can have a look and say oh okay not bad not bad not bad and we keep going we got two more exciting isn't it i know you like it i know so and we go back to our 3d view there you go a bit more of a repetitive pattern in the ceiling and now we get for the last one our nice wavy ceiling so we take this number five okay and we go 3d view Ooh, looking good okay i hope you enjoyed this little quick coffee tip tutorial and i see you back next time bye for now